So then a rat or a mouse. These apartments will flood during heavy rain. Ugh, look at how dirty this corner is. The carpet here, absolutely disgusting. Definitely not been cleaned in many years. These beds do have weird little stains. Hope it's not what I think it might be. Incredibly poor quality. So you see all these dirty marks. Really disgusting. A lot of insects all over this bathroom. Look, there's spiders up there again, which is absolutely disgusting. I won't be staying in a silver room in pocket again, because this is horrible. Um, you see that? Is that a rat or a mouse? Ooh, no, that looks like a mouse to me. Yeah, it's a mouse. <coughs> so, I'm at Bogner Regis Butlins, uh, and uh, we're here for a week, and I'm staying in two different types of accommodation. One very cheap, one a lot more expensive. So first up, let's go and see what the cheap offering is like at Bogner Regis. As you've just seen, there's a mouse wandering around. This is Oyster Bay, and I'm staying in Barracuda Place. So Oyster Bay, Barracuda Place, that's where I am. First thing you'll probably notice is uh, I'm going to try and be quiet, people are sleeping. There are sandbags all over the place. And I think that's because these apartments will flood during heavy rains. And we have had heavy rains over the last few days. So that's what these sandbags are all about. But yeah, these are the silver rooms. And uh, there you go, more sandbags. So, this is my room, and uh, first problem that I came across the moment I arrived is this. Let me try and get into my room. Nope. 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 This might go on for a while. I don't know how many tries that was, but it was about 15. I called up and complained, and they told me, oh yeah, some of our cards are a bit defective, and you just have to keep trying. Cheap room. Anyway, this is number 11, uh, Barracuda Place. Let's have a look inside and see what it's like. Okay, so, you can see a little bit of a floor mat entrance, and inside, two single beds. What you might notice straight away, is there are no size tables whatsoever. Literally nothing to put your phone or watch or anything at night on uh, when you're about to sleep. So problem, not insurmountable, just an annoyance. Uh, there is storage here uh, where you can keep stuff. They do provide tea and coffee, which I have now finished. Uh, two cups or mugs and inside Nice and clean. Very good. Uh, TV is actually a decent size given the room. However, you'll notice there's only two plug sockets for the whole room. Now, one of those sockets is going to be used for your TV. So really, you have one plug socket and that's it. Um, so luckily, I brought a multi-charger so I could charge multiple devices like my phone, etc. at the same time. But generally, very disappointing. Also... Ugh. Cleanliness is an issue. These beds do have weird little stains like that. I have no idea what that is. And I hope it's not what I think it might be, but that's why I bring antibacterial spray and spray everything. <laughs> Floor has lots of nasty little marks uh, here and there. And this, ugh, look at how dirty this corner is. The carpet here is absolutely disgusting. It hasn't been cleaned in a while. They provide this thing uh, if you want to dry out some of your clothes. You'll notice there's a door there, and uh, you might be wondering, hey, can you hear the neighbours? Yes, yes, you can hear the neighbours, um, and I do hear their crying children constantly uh, <laughs> throughout my stay. You, you can literally hear conversations word for word that your neighbours are having, and you can hear their TV. You can tell what channel they're watching.
Anyway, um, nice full length mirror, very good. And storage wise, here, a few cubby holes where you can put things, ironing board, and a steam iron that they provide, which is quite nice. Bathroom, basic, basic to uh, say the least. So, one bar of soap that they provide, they provide these two incredibly poor quality toilet rolls, which is why I went out and bought some of my own, because this this is just, this is just awful. It just tears apart in your hand um, if you're e even slightly wet hands. They don't provide you any other toiletries, just that one little bar of soap and that one little towel. So this towel is one that I brought from home, and of course they have a towel rack for you. On the back of the door there's somewhere to hang your toiletry bag and dressing gown if you bring one. Uh, a little heater here, which I've never managed to get working, I don't know why, but they do have a ventilator, which has definitely not been cleaned in many years. I've never tried that light. Oh, I wonder if it works. Oh, yes, it works. Good. Now, this is something that really, really annoyed me. This is the shower. And if you look inside, it took a while to work out how it works, but it does work. That's fine. Um, weirdly, this doesn't quite fit in this hole. It's slightly too big for that gap. So that's annoying, but not the end of the world. What is really disgusting is that if you run this for the shower for two minutes or more, it doesn't drain quickly. So you see all these dirty marks. That's because it starts rising up and flooding. And so you have to shower very, very quickly, otherwise you're going to flood the bathroom, um, which is absolutely disgusting. Oh, also, a lot of insects all over this bathroom, uh, constantly having to get rid of them, which, yeah, look, the spider's up there again. Not happy about that. So cleanliness, not the best. So this is the cheap option, uh, the ultra cheap option, and I paid, well, our family paid uh, about £500 for a week in this silver room. I won't be staying in a silver room in pocket again because this is horrible. This is absolutely horrible. I mean, if you're, if you're someone who's willing to slum it and you can put up with it, that's fine. I'm a germaphobe, and for me, uh, staying here a couple of nights has been horrendous. Um, so I'm really glad I'm now moving on to uh, <laughs> some, a little better quality accommodation than this, because I, I just can't, I can't tolerate this anymore. Oh, and, and this is the view out of your window. Generally, though, um, I'm not going to keep my curtains open like this because, you know, privacy. I did pay extra for the ground floor just because I hate lugging luggage up and down steps. Yeah, uh, no privacy when you do that because people are wandering past all the time. So what do you think? Would you stay here? So it's early morning again, lots of people leaving today. I'm going to show you the expensive accommodation I booked at Butler's Popular Regis. It's at the hotel, or one of the hotels. This one's called The Wave. And uh, it's not like a regular hotel, let's put it that way. You'll see. So lovely decor all nautical themed they've got a cafe that's open in the morning uh, until about two o'clock i think it is lots of comfy seating little water features on the wall and a games room for kids uh arcade game with all also it's not open at the moment you know yeah opens at 12 to 5. um one of the joys even though i'm on a higher floor one of the highest is uh don't have to take stairs because they have lifts elevated. More nautical thieving in here. We're on the sixth floor. Luckily, right next to the elevator, room 639. Let me give you a room tour. Oh, uh, card always works in this one, unlike the cheap accommodation where it really struggled. Oh. 
Right. So, before we get to the room, let's check out the bathroom, which is just on my left. All right, so first things first, you'll notice a nice a big bath with a shower head. And, and they keep this reasonably clean. Uh, lots and lots of towels provided for you. Uh, this toilet paper, although not brilliant, is definitely better than the stuff they give you in the cheap accommodation. Wow, big mirror, lovely clean faucet and basin. And oh, as usual, uh, butler supply you with butler spread and soap. <laughs> <laughs> I've no idea why no other toiletries are provided, but maybe that's just to tide you over in case you forgot what you needed and uh, you need to go to the shops, but that'll keep you going for a little bit. But yeah, lovely bathroom. Oh, a little step stool over there that they provide for the kids so they can reach up to the basin. Right, now let's see the rest of the room. So we have four coat hooks here, very useful. This door on the left leads to the kids' bedroom. They're asleep right now, so I can't show it to you, but basically it's a bunk bed um, with two TVs, one for each bunk, uh, and often the kids will just watch the exact same thing sitting in their own individual beds. I don't know why they think that's amusing, but they do. Right, so let's have a quick look at the kids' bedroom while they're out. Two bunk beds. Nice and comfortable, each with their own TV, which they can control individually. Uh, oh, lovely nautical theme again, and storage for their stuff. Uh, as for the rest of the room, uh, now this is obviously two beds pushed together, but I've got to tell you, this is so much, so much more comfortable than uh, what I was staying in with the cheap accommodation. That was horrible. That wasn't nice to sleep in at all. This is firm. As you can see, some lovely accent lighting above. And uh, the TV here is exactly the same size as it was in the cheap accommodation. But you'll notice that it comes with this fancy uh, panel, which means you can connect various different devices. Sadly, uh, and this is very annoying, only two plug sockets there. That's okay, though, because they also supply some more plug sockets for, uh, in other parts of the room. You can even connect your USB uh, cable into here to charge your phone if you want to. Huge, huge improvement on what I had in the cheap accommodation. Let's have a look at what they've got for storage. Firstly, here, loads of room. In here, a safe, somewhere to put your clothes, uh, an ironing board, and a steam iron. Identical steam iron, I think, to the one I had in the cheap accommodation. And finally, oh, it wouldn't be a British hotel without tea and coffee facilities but we also get a mini fridge uh, not a mini bar mini fridge where you can keep your drinks cool fantastic love that and the living room area so these two funky yellow seats and a little table very nice i, I have enjoyed some time sitting on those uh, this little um, vanity area, I guess you could call it, which has a hairdryer and a couple more plug sockets, a mirror to preen yourself if you're that kind of person. But here's the important part. Uh, the view. This is what you pay for. So this is this is the wave of branding. Um, but yeah, it's fraying a little. This has seen better days. But look, can't beat that view. You could with some nicer weather. You could definitely beat the view with some nicer weather. But let's open it up. Uh, oh, this is an effort. There we go. This is what you pay extra for. And here's the view at night. Not very impressive, I'll admit. However, if you open the balcony door, you can hear the soothing sounds of the ocean, which you could fall asleep to. Uh, if you left the balcony door open, but it's, it's way too cold to <laughs> leave this balcony door open while I sleep tonight. Now, you can choose your own room in this hotel if you're willing to fork out an extra £19. That's a good way to try and guarantee you will get the view that you want. This doesn't, doesn't look great. This doesn't look great at the moment because the weather has been awful. Ironically, Bogner is supposed to be the sunniest place in the country. And that's a fact. I keep I keep hearing people say that. 
Hasn't felt that way this week, but I imagine when the weather's nice, this is an amazing place to sit. And they do provide you with a table and a couple of chairs, which are very wet right now, so I will not be sitting here. But there you have it. In terms of noise, these doors are pretty soundproof, but the, because of the way the balconies are shaped, uh, the wind kind of whips along them quite fast, so you do get a constant howling sound at night. I can sleep through that, but I, I imagine for some people that would be quite difficult. So, how much did this all cost? Well, more than twice. More than twice what the poor people accommodation cost. <laughs> this was £1,200 for the week. That's just for the accommodation. The extras, uh, like choosing your room and paying for food, etc. That's all separate. 1200 is just for the accommodation. And I said this wasn't quite like a regular hotel. Firstly, no toiletries supplied. Secondly, the maid does not come and clean every single day. I think it's two or three of the days in the week where the cleaning service will come in and clean up for you. I'm fine with that. I'm a generally clean person. I mean, I've slept in this room last night. Look, it looks fine. I'm not a particularly messy person. Um, but for some of you, that might be uh, something to think about. So tell me, what do you think? Which would you choose? The cheap, inverted commas, accommodation for £500 for a week or this gorgeous hotel room for £1,200 on its own. Let me know in the comments.